you can. Final instructions from our referee, Atsushi Onari. We are set for three rounds, one Super Series kickboxing rules contest in front of a sellout crowd inside the Singapore Indoor Stadium. Where Giorgio Petrosian has more Ten. muscles Ready. than a seafood Ready. buffet. He Go. is looking in the best shape we've seen him in a long time. This one brought to you by Global Citizen. Petrosian, the southpaw. I run roundhouse kick. That's the power weapon of Sorgrot. This is when Sorgrot needs to jump on Petrosian. Petrosian hasn't figured out his rhythm yet, hasn't figured out his timing. This is Sorgrot's moment. Mitch, he might have just figured it out. That was a beautiful combination there. Sword Rock with the project arm bands around his biceps. Out of the many traditions and superstitions surrounding the ancient martial art of Muay Thai, more than 3,000 years old. Trojan's throwing heat with those hands. A little quarter turns, everything thrown with surgical precision. That's why they call him the doctor. And again, Petrosian, the hand, the step through me. Just a delight to behold. And Stolgrove's got to start winding up that right roundhouse kick. Petrosian resets. Armenia during its war torn years, relocated to Italy, had to sleep on the streets with his father and his younger brother, living out of train stations, out of gutters, overcame abject poverty to today be arguably the greatest combat stylist in the world. Oh, beautiful right hand there from Petrosian, and that'll give Saul Draw a headache. Petrosian's at it, like this is a different game. He's been much more aggressive. He's going first. He's not letting Sorgra go. He's actually looking for the knockout in the very first round. Petrosian, who lives in Milan these days, close friends with Italian soccer striker Mario Balotelli, no doubt watching his close friend at the moment, putting on a fine display of finesse, the Ferrari of kickboxing, Giorgio Petrosian. Began his pro career some 15 years ago. Two-time K1 Max champion, looking for win number 98 tonight. Uppercut to the left hand. Petrosian in control early. The chin is tucked, looking through the brow. You can see the right leg is cocked and ready. Oh, so still around his eyes. Petrosian backs him up again. The doctor doing surgery. Land the left hand, the power hand, and one score from Petrosian. Absolute ownership of Sorgor. You can sign the pink slip right now. Sorgor seems pleased with himself that round. I'm not quite sure why, because that was a very aggressive start for Petrosian. He missed right there, but I think he was starting to figure out that timing. Came forward aggressively, and there was that big left hook. That's what caught Sorgra, and then he just jumps all over him. Finding some big shots, hunting after Sorgra. He's going over the top, landing some big shots. Big miss right there from Sorgra. Very impressive round for the doctor. The Trojan said in his three-month camp, he studied as much video as he could find on Sorgra. He said, the only thing I've got to watch out for were his leg kicks. But he said, I beat Saul Gore everywhere. Saul Gore had a six-week camp. Very prodigious chance. Was born in Buran, Thailand, about 400 kilometers northeast of Bangkok. Relocated from Buran to Bangkok as a 15-year-old to further his Muay Thai career. Lumpini welterweight champion, two-time world champion. And here he is in the biggest challenge of his life against the greatest, Giorgio Petrosian, who almost dropped him in the opening round. Good forearms guard against the roundhouse kick there. Petrosian, that left-hand cross. It is sublime. He leans back like Fat Joe. Tremendous evasion. 
you, you said Petrosian was, you know, the only thing he had to worry about was the leg kicks, but Sorbo hasn't really thrown a lot of leg kicks. He hasn't attacked that inside lead leg. He said that. He just goes after it's him. one way to slow down an opponent's punching. The opponent's boxing is to kick the legs. The only thing he's thrown is he's thrown that rear leg ground kick. Oh, he caught one right there. Every time Sorbo gets backed against the fence, Petrosian punishes him with speed and precision. Sorbo's throwing that right kick, but Petrosian's eating it on his arms, which would oh, maybe slow down the hand. Oh, the upper gut. Like the straight left cross. With timing like that, Giorgio Petrosian shouldn't be Italian. He should be Swiss. Again with the lead right. Petrosian the overhand to the top of the noggin. It's that right hook, Michael. That's the one. That's the one that's catching Sobral over and over again. That's setting up that straight left hand. Petrosian. Left cross down the tube. Again as Sobral drifts back in against the cage. Petrosian makes Go. him pay for it. 133 remaining. Second round of three. First round all Petrosian. So two here in the second. Good forearms guard against the roundhouse kick. Two punch combination. The evasion from the counter striking. Everything is flawless at the moment from Giorgio Petrosian. Uppercut again. The ripped and shredded arms, deltoids, biceps, triceps of Petrosian. In tremendous physical shape. Again, he lands the cross off the left. There's the jab. He's had more jabs than a pin cushion tonight. Giorgio Petrosian. What could Sorbo do here, Mitch? Man, How does he combat this? Man, I don't know. He has to find a way to slow down Petrosian because Petrosian is just marching forward. He has absolutely zero respect for Sorbo's power. Step through knee from Saul Grohl. That won't do the trick. Petrosian drifts back to center cage. Two punch combination again. It is a treat. It is a show. It is kickboxing 101 from Giorgio Petrosian. Man, that could be the best two punch combo I've ever seen. That hook to straight left hand is precision. You know, I spoke to Demetrius Johnson yesterday, and he said on the entire card tonight, the man who was most looking forward to watching live for the first time ever was Giorgio Petrosian. Because him and Eddie Alvarez singled out Petrosian as the man they most wanted to watch cage side tonight. For this exact reason. And now the doctor who's known for precision is starting to hit with tremendous power. Let's look at some of the handiwork. Look at the way Petrosian picks these shots. There, he goes right down the middle, first with the straight left hand, and then he adds those hands behind it. I want to see the uppercut. Oh, just on cue. Beautiful timing on that. Boom. Caught him with a wonderful uppercut off the lead side. And then look at that. Evades the right hook. Counters back. Just a clinic. Giorgio Petrosian makes it look so damned easy. Very calm, focused, relaxed. Petrosian hasn't put a glove, a foot, a knee out of place. His timing has been exquisite. His power has been superb. Three minutes remaining in front of a sellout crowd here in Singapore. Can Sorgra, the Indy Academy, Go! find something to upset the greatest? Barely broken a sweat. Not breathing hard, seems completely relaxed. No different from the first round to the third. That defense, the way he puts up that wall from his legs up to his forearms, protecting all that side of his body with the right roundhouse kicks are coming from Sorgra. And there it is again, the total package here. Giorgio Petrosian comes forward. Beautiful jab. You see the jab and immediately takes his chin out of range for a possible counter. It's the minute, the minuteness, the little things of Petrosian, the little intricacies you've got to watch. You've got to applaud. You've got to absolutely love. And again, that left hand cross thrown as a lead. There's the old three two, the hook to the cross from Petrosian. Three two again. There's the hook from Petrosian once more. There's the cross. 
Petrosian drifts back to centre cage. Sogor goes down to the legs. Maybe should have gone there a little more tonight. Another two punch combination. Petrosian locks him up, and referee Oh now he breaks the. Haven't seen Sorgro move in for the grapple. Under these kickboxing rules, you are allowed to clinch for three seconds and throw as many knees as you like. Haven't seen Sorgro, who's a Muay Thai champion, go that route. Not just a regular Muay Thai champion, not just a regular Muay Thai world champion, a Lumpini world champion, and Petrosian has had this way with him. Mitch, you couldn't have said it better. Petrosian is using him as a true toy. Just absolutely owning Sorgro here. It is another beautiful display. And you can see why One Super Series has become the premier striking organization on the planet. You saw Muay Thai earlier tonight. You've seen Petros in here. You saw Smoke and Joe Nutterwatt. We've got Godson Fai coming up again soon. All the great names in the world are with One Super Series. And you are seeing the greatest of all at it again. 45 seconds remaining. I wish we had another 25 minutes on this one to watch Giorgio Petrosian at work. Man, but how tough is Sol Ross? He has taken Petrosian's best shots, which we have described as powerful, precision, possibly perfect, and really just taking his best shot to answer. Still biting down those mouthpiece, ready to throw down. Literally right there. Mitch, as I glance around here, it's a very silent crowd for this one, not because they've left to get a drink, because everyone's on the edge of their seats with their mouth a jar beholding what Georgia Petrosian is showing them. A very highly educated combat crowd here in Singapore are loving every second of this. This is like watching Da Vinci paint in front of you. It's incredible. That was another masterclass display. There is no doubt in your mind, I'm sure, as in ours, that Petrosian gets it. They're victory three alongside Pinto Gracie. The stars out in fourth. And I'll tell you what, they love themselves. Some Georgia Petrosian. Let's take a look at the hands of Petrosian. Look at that. Opens up with the lead right hook, and it comes right down the middle with the straight left hand. His money shot all night long has been that left hand. Just an absolute battering ram. A trip hammer just coming right through the middle, connecting over and over again. Very impressive. Very impressive striking display. We go down to the judges. Petrosian hardly raising a sweat. He looks to be in the best shape I've ever seen him. My word. Let's go to Dominic Lau. To present the medal for this match, we have Katie Farha, Senior Director of Business Development, Global Citizen. And now, ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of battle, we turn to the judges' scorecards. All three judges have scored this bout in favor of your winner by unanimous decision from the red corner, Giorgio Petrosian. It is yet another win from Giorgio Petrosian, the greatest of all time. Just show us all why.